This is Sarah Thridster, nurse RN.com, and in this video, I'm going to be going over sublingual nitroglycerin and the oral spray, and I'm going to show you how to administer it. Now, remember, whenever you administer nitroglycerin, you always want to follow your hospital protocols for this medication along with the manufacturer's instructions, and always be sure you have the proper credentials when administering this medication. And for this video, we're using demo dose doses of nitroglycerin. So it's a simulated dose and these do not really contain nitroglycerin. So what is nitroglycerin used for? It's used to relieve or treat chest pain. And nitroglycerin is part of the nitrate family. And because of this, what it does is it causes vasodilation on those blood vessels. So you have a patient, they're having chest pain, they're getting limited amount of blood to that heart muscle. And what nitroglycerin will do, it will open up those vessels and increase the blood supply to that heart tissue, along with decreasing its workload. So as a nurse, what do you expect to see in your patient after you give them this drug? Well, you can expect to see facial flushing from where they're getting increased blood flow through the body from that vasodilation. They can also experience like a burning or tingling sensation underneath the tongue. Whenever you give this sublingual, the tablets you will put underneath the tongue and the spray you will spray under the tongue as well. Also, it can cause a very painful headache from all the extra blood flow. They can experience dizziness and definitely hypotension. It's going to lower the blood pressure. So when your patient is having chest pain, as the nurse, of course, you want to notify the physician. And a lot of hospitals already have standing orders there for you to follow out. They're usually called chest pain protocols. And you will have this order set that you need to do for your patient, which will include, you know, giving the nitroglycerin, possibly morphine if the nitro is not really helping, along with oxygen administration via nasal cannula, obtaining a 12 lead EKG, and drawing cardiac enzymes. So before you administer nitroglycerin to your patient, of course you want to confirm that they are not allergic to it and that they haven't recently taken a phosphodiesterase inhibitor like sildenafil, which is Viagra, or Tadalafil, which is Cialis, because this can lead to severe hypotension and possibly even death. And of course, you don't want to give this to a patient who has increased intracranial pressure. Then you'll want to perform hand hygiene, perform the patient's five rites, and whenever handling nitroglycerin, you want to wear gloves because if you get this on yourself, you can give yourself some nitroglycerin and you can get some of the side effects that come along with this drug. So first, let's talk about sublingual nitroglycerin. Okay, it comes in a dark vial, and this vial is dark for a reason because nitroglycerin is very sensitive, and it doesn't need to come into contact with light or heat or moisture, and it's only good for three months when the bottle is opened. And then you're gonna have the patient set down before administering this to them, because remember, it can cause dizziness and hypotension and you want to obtain baseline vital signs, especially blood pressure, because you're gonna see a decrease in their blood pressure. And you wanna confirm that their systolic blood pressure is within parameters. And most hospital protocols require that that systolic blood pressure, that top number, is greater than 90. And if it's not, and your patient's having chest pain, you need to contact the physician for further orders. And preferably, you want them on a cardiac monitor, so you can be monitoring that rhythm, looking at that ST segment for abnormalities like ST elevation or depression. To administer, you will place one tablet under the tongue. So have the patient lift the tongue up and it will dissolve under there. The patient does not need to chew it or swallow it and not to rinse the mouth because they may feel like they need to do that whenever they have the tablet under the tongue because of the tingling sensation, and it's gonna absorb within that lining there. And after giving the tablet, you'll want to make sure that you're constantly monitoring their blood pressure, especially that systolic, making sure it's greater 
then 90 and their chest pain. How is it rated? Is it increasing? Is it decreasing? Is it going away? And if their systolic blood pressure is still within parameters and they're still having chest pain, you can do a second dose within five minutes. Again, monitoring that blood pressure and their chest pain. And if the chest pain is still there, you can give a third dose within five minutes. Now, you do not want to give more than three doses, and if the chest pain's still not relieved after the third dose, you'll want to notify the physician. Now, with the oral nitroglycerin spray, what you wanna do is, of course, remove the cap on the bottle, and if this is a new bottle, you'll want to prime it. And a lot of times in the hospital setting, you're gonna be using a new bottle of nitroglycerin. And to prime it, you're going to press the button to spray it about five to eight times just to get that line in there nice and primed. And whenever you do that, tip, keep it away from your face and other people's faces. You don't want to inhale this. So we're gonna prime about five to eight times. Five. Okay, and then it's ready to use. And another tip with this spray is that you don't want to shake the bottle up and down. Remember, nitroglycerin is very sensitive and it's in a dark bottle, so keep it away from heat and light and keep it in the upright position at all times. You don't wanna store it upside down. And to give the oral nitroglycerin spray, you're gonna give one spray underneath the tongue and tell the patient to slightly hold their breath and not to breathe in the medication. Now, after giving the oral spray, you wanna make sure that the patient doesn't rinse their mouth or eat or drink anything for at least 10 minutes. And you'll follow the same protocol as you followed with the sublingual tablets by monitoring that blood pressure constantly, making sure it's within parameters and monitoring their chest pain and within five minutes you can give a second dose and within five minutes you can give a third dose and so no more than three doses. Okay, so that is how you give sublingual nitroglycerin and oral spray. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.